Yeah, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Acito, man, back with another vlog for y'all, man. Shout out to the whole Battle Rap community, man. Yo, man, if you follow me, make sure you guys comment, subscribe, support the channel. I appreciate all the love, man. Yo, it's been a crazy, crazy couple days, man. We got a lot going on in the Battle Rap community. You know what I'm saying? We got KOTD. They got their finals event coming up. RBE dropping their battles on YouTube right now. I just got finished watching uh, before this battle that I'm about to recap. I just got finished watching Reed Dollars and Ill Will again for the third time. That battle was classic, bro. That's a classic. Like, that is a classic. We're going we gonna, to we gonna, we gonna get back to that, though. We're going to get back to that. URL, you know what I'm saying? They had the initiation. They had the initiation event in Texas. Um, you know, it was a little bit of, you know... It's a little bit of uh, things that took place out there. You know, we're not going to really indulge into the negatives, but all the parties that were involved are safe and okay. And hopefully, you know, the other things get ironed out. Um, I'm glad to hear everybody's safe, man. But one of the particular battles that we were supposed to get on the resolution card was Real Name Brandon versus Kid Slade. Um, Real Name Brandon had an unfortunate death in his family. Um, so the battle had to get rescheduled and they rescheduled it for this event here. Now, I will say this, this battle right here is a crazy back and forth. The replay value on this battle is incredible, incredible. It's only been out maybe six hours or so, six, seven hours. And I've watched it at least four times, four times. Um, it's incredible, man. Yo, I, yeah, man. If these guys were on a big stage, like if they were on that resolution stage or they were in like that venue in Houston, like they had the venue they had some in Madness at, like that's the type of that's the type of battle that needs to be held at. Big stage, man. Like, damn man. If that was a bit if that battle, if real name Brandon and Kid Slade was on a big stage. I guarantee you that would have been another easy and chess type of classic. I just feel like the impact would have just been even, it would have been even more crazier with the crowd, the reaction, and their energy probably would have been on a whole nother level. Like, damn, man, I really wish we could have got that on a big stage. But these guys did phenomenal in the small room setting. Um, yo, Kiss Slave, man. Yo, big, big shout out to you, man. Like, I'm seeing the growth. I'm seeing the elevation. I'm seeing you taking, you know, certain certain feedback, you know, from the fans or from people that's close to you, and you applying that shit. And that's the that's the shit that I love. Like you take, you know, you take the constructive criticism, and you take, you know, the you know the good compliments, and you ball it up together, and you go back to the drawing table, and you're like, yo, all right, what do I need to add more? What do I need to take away from? And I feel like, yo, your performance was flawless, bro. Like, from first, second, to third, like, you didn't do no wrong. Your energy was on 10. Your bars was on 10. Your cadence was on 10. You know what I'm saying? Like, you did everything. Like, you did everything I could have asked for. You did that and more. You know what I'm saying? Like, big shout out to Kid Slade, man. And shout out to Real Name Brandon. Like, damn, man. Like, Real name Brandon, man. If you if you know me personally, you know like I'm a huge, huge real name Brandon fan. Like, like from the first time I seen him, I seen him battle Chef Trez, and then I didn't really see too much from it. Then I saw that he was in the uh, Crucible, Crucible tournament. Now actually he was in the uh, yeah the Crucible tournament. Um, and then I seen him live in Houston. I seen him just thirty MVP. Like I'm like this nigga's nice. Seen him battle Shug. Got busy with Shug. Seen him with the twerk battle. He got busy in the twerk battle. Like, he's consistent, man. He's consistent. Super consistent. And it's like, <clears throat> these two, these two, these two fellow MCs, man, they are really carrying that torch. Like, we got easy to block Captain, which he's not really a new MC, but he's just like a breath of fresh air in the battle rap community. But I feel like Kid Slade and Real Name Brandon can really like be next up as far as carrying that torch for the new generation of battle rappers. Because we got like the Real Six, you know what I'm saying? We got like the Kid Chaos, you know what I'm saying? The um, Jada Nightwings. And for some reason, like these guys haven't propelled like 
I don't want to say to the next level, but we don't like we've we've seen them in opportunities, but we just haven't seen anything yet to be like, boom, yo, he's going to be one of the ones like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that makes any sense. But um, shout out to them. But, yo, I see this blog, man. Like, let's get into it, man. First round, yo, first round, Kid Slay is going crazy. You know what I'm saying? That. I love the I love the drug talk, man. The drug, especially when it's coming from somebody that that's authentic. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's authentic. You can just hear it. The way he crafts his shit and how he's so detailed with 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 what he's talking about. Like you just know, you know, you getting it from somebody that knows what the fuck they talking about, man. He was wilding, man. The the paid in full, the paid in full scheme was crazy. The maroon five ball was crazy. Like he was yo. Kid Slate was going crazy in that first. He was going crazy in that first. And then real name Brandon comes right behind him. He comes right behind him going crazy. Like, God damn, y'all niggas. Yo, I really had to watch this battle like three, four times. And I'm still on the edge with this first round. Like, yo, real name Brandon had the draw four, the draw four bar. Crazy. That was a crazy ass haymaker. Um he had the, he had the, he had the uh setup. Where he was like, I caught the Roly gold chain in the Lexus, and the OG said, "Yo, you ain't got a gun to protect it." Like he said, something, something like, "Yeah, it, it, yo, it was crazy. It was, yo, that shit was crazy, bro. That shit was crazy, yo. That first round, that first round is so. The the first round is the most debatable round in this whole entire battle. I feel like, I feel like, the more I watched it, I picked up on more shit from Kid Slade. I feel like I'm. I don't know. I feel like I, I missed. I missed certain setups. Like I feel like Slade. Slade. Slade would like say a bar, and then it'll go two, three bars, and then that bar was like a continuance of that bar. The last two, three bars that he just, you know, at the beginning for what he just said. Like I can't explain it, man. But it's like I was catching shit on the third and fourth watch, but on the first watch, when I first first watched it, I edged the first round. To real name Brandon, I gave real name Brandon. And after watching it the second and third time, I'm kind of leaning towards Kiss Slade, but I'm gonna go with my first, my first, um, my first watch. I had real name Brandon with the slight, 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 slight edge, slight edge, slightly, very, very slight. But that was a crazy ass round, man. Like that round was crazy, man. I'm not mad at anybody that said they got Kiss Slade. I just, I just felt like the shit I got from real name Brandon, like it didn't take long for me to digest. Like certain bars with Kid Slade, like I said, I had to catch it on the second and third watch. Whereas with, with real name Brandon, I was catching the shit like instantly. You know what I'm saying? So that's maybe why I kind of lean towards him with the first round. Second round, second round was even. It's even like another debatable round, another debatable round. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kid Slade, Kid Slade takes it to another fucking level, another level. I mean, I had Kid Slade with the second round. Real name Brandon was fired too. He had some crazy bars in that second round, but Kid Slade was like, "Yo, no, nigga, I'm gonna show you that it's levels to this, to this, to this talk. I'm gonna show you his levels to this talk." And he just took that shit to a whole another level, like. I was I was so impressed, bro. I had him with the second round, and in the third round, I felt like the third round from both MCs was like the lightest round. But still, Kid Slade, he started off a little slow. Same thing, real name Brandon. Real name Brandon. I'm gonna get to real name Brandon, but Slade started off a little slow. And he just started heating up, and by the end of his round, he he ended it with a crazy ass haymaker. That shit was crazy. Um, damn, what the fuck he said? I forgot what he said. He said some cr a crazy ass haymaker. That just edged him the battle for me. You know what I'm saying? Real name Brandon, he really started off very slow. It sounded like a lot of, it sounded like filler balls. I'm going to keep it 100. It sounded like you was pulling from some shit that you had wrote. And then by like maybe the 10th, the 10th, 11th bar, then you started going back at Slade. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of drifted off a little bit. Um, You wasn't the, the like the first, I want to say, minute minute and a half of your round wasn't really towards Kid Slade. Um, but I had Kid Slade taking the third. I had him taking the second, third, 2-1. But this was a really, really, 
really great battle. Um, shout out to URL for dropping this battle so fast. I'm not going to hold you. I was on the battle rap community's ass for that bootleg. <laughs> Somebody sent it to me, yo. Shout out to my home girl. She sent it to me. But the link was just not working in my favor. I was like, fuck. So I went to Battle Rap Fanatic. Shout out to Battle Rap Fanatic. I watched his recap and I got glimpses and pieces of certain shit. I was like, yo, this shit crazy. I gotta see this battle. And then boom, URL drops the battle. So shout out to URL. They knew the streets needed this. They knew we needed this battle, man. But yo, shout out to real name Brandon. You know what I'm saying? I'm really looking forward to what you got going on next. You know what I'm saying? I know you were dealing with a lot of things, personal things. Um, you know, my thoughts and prayers go out to you again and your family. I hope everything is good. You know, maybe you need to just, you know, maybe take a month or two off after this battle. Just clear your mind, get your, you know, get your head right and jump right back in, man. I want to see you, man, continue to strive and keep going up because this was a really, really great battle for you. Um, Kiss Slade, man, like, yo, from the last, the last, the, from the bad news one off, like, I had you winning that, but I was just like, yo, like, he just didn't look motivated. So it's like. I really want you to be really strategic, man, with these battles, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's like a situation where you get to pick and choose. Like if they bring in certain like battlers to the table, like yo, Slay, who you want? You want this, this, or this? And you choosing, or they just pretty much just give you the plate. Like, yo, this is who you're going to take. You know what I'm saying? But if you can be strategic, yo, I really want you to be strategic, man. And like, man, stay off the chicken circuit leagues, man. Just really focus on building your brand and capitalizing off this momentum. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just had a crazy battle with real name Brandon. The app has you winning the shit clear 3-0. So, um, I'm seeing rumblings on Twitter about T-Top. T-Top called you out. So, I would love to see you get that T-Top battle, man. I would love to see you get that T-Top battle. I don't want to, like... I, that's the thing, like, when, when dudes got momentum like this, I don't want to see you battle down, my nigga. Like, battle up. Battle up. Do not battle down. You know what I'm saying? Do not battle down. So if you could get T-Top, crazy. If you could clear T-Top, my nigga, easy to block. I think you could get easy to block Captain this year. I think Easy has no choice but to take you. Because he got to take a new nigga. And I feel like you would be the perfect one. You know what I mean? The the the, the, the styles kind of kind of go with each other. But it's like the talk is different on both ends. Like, you talk that talk and Easy talks that talk. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, I'm I'm really excited, man. Big shout out to Kid Slade, man. You having a phenomenal start to the year. Just keep on going, man. Keep on going. Keep being strategic with your matchups, and just keep that same momentum, man. The the, the way you the way you attack with that first and second round, that's how I want to see you rap, bro. Like I don't give a fuck if it's a one rounder. That's how I, that's the energy I want to see from Kid Slade. You know what I'm saying? But yo, man, shout out to the Battle Rap community. Yo, in the comment section, let me know who you guys had winning this battle, man. Did you have Real Name Brandon or did you have Kid Slade? Let me know the rounds you guys had with this battle, man. Yo, man, shout out to the Battle Rap community, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, support the channel. It's your boy, Acito. I'm out of here. Peace.